a shit again. Wait, say something. Hello. Okay, I wanted to make sure that your sound is good. I was watching Hocus Pocus. Oh, are we talking in English accent? <laughs> Hocus Pocus. Hello, Hello Lorizzi. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk, we'll talk regular schmegler. Yeah, uh, we could be two regular regular schmeglers girls, one brown, one white, just living, adulting in life. I got a little bit of decorations going on. Do you remember this? Oh, my God. Yes. Do you remember this? Aw. Uh, all I have is... All I have is a, I got, I got a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> and a well, martini. Next, uh, next Saturday we, uh, I was trying to do something, but I don't even know what this is back here. <laughs> I have some of those lanterns. I could, oh. Hello? Can you hear now? now I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, I like, uh, so you got yourself a martini. No, I've got my tiny. Well, you look like quite a oh. lovely, classy rodeo lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mixture. This is got... fireball on ice. Ooh, so you got yourself two drinkies. Yeah, I'm, I'm already sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to take my, my little shirt off, too. I got me a this Bloody Mary. Shirt off? You're going to take your shirt off? This little shirt off. It's a shirt. That's a, it's a jacket. No, it's a shirt. Back when I, because I know you don't believe me, but back when I was skinny, a button, and I wore it like oh. like a shirt. <laughs> but now I won't. Oh, I have a, my bad. Sorry. It's, right, right, right. No. You know, I'm, I'm insecure. You're being a little insensitive about your hair? <laughs> insensitive, that's it. Okay, let us uh, let me start so you can tell the Isle Kittens what you did. <laughs> Okay, um... Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, test, test, one, two. Que onda, wey? We are the Bodega Cats. Back And it's late. And I don't know what the fuck we're doing, but for some reason I feel like we should be the ones to start it. I am 54 peaches. And the reason is here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us what you did last night, homie. <laughs> I know what you did last night. <laughs> Everybody knows now. It's mm. out. You don't well, have to say it if you don't want to. I thought you I wanted know. to share. I was, uh, God. I was uh, watching a movie on Netflix about bad hair. <laughs> and uh, I watched it and I was a little freaked out. If you haven't seen Netflix, uh, the bad hair, it's, it's kind of creepy. But I decided, well, I'm going to. I'm going to chop my hair because I want the bad vibes off of it. But I went a little crazy and uh, it's not professional, but at least, you know, I, I felt like my hair was just all over the place and just dry. And so I just, I was like, oh, I'll just cut some ends. But then I looked on this side and then I was like, oh, and then I cut off like an inch. And then of course I was having wine. So, um, I shouldn't have done it, but oh did well. you also did you also have whiskey or just wine? Okay, because I just wanted to know. I'm like, just wine? <laughs> I think I may have had some whiskey after the wine because the <laughs> wine was not cutting it. <laughs> the wine was the uh, what do they call it when you're gonna have sex in the the beginning of it. What do they call it? Foreplay. foreplay. Yeah, the wine was the wine was the foreplay. <laughs> Oh, but I was like, I, I guess your vision messes up after you drink a little. And so, and you know what? I just realized I need a new uh, bathroom lighting because it's uneven in parts. But, you know, I had a rat tail in the back. I was going to keep it, but somebody told me it was white trash. So, you know, I don't want anyone to judge me about 
white trailer trash. I believe the word was trailer. <laughs> Not white. <laughs> oh, I just took that as white because right, right. I, and I guess on 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 retrospect in retrospect, um, it is kind of you know. No, really, no, no, no. Let me clarify things. You, yes, you missed the spot and it was right in the middle. So your hair had like one long hair in the back. You told me, can you braid that one piece so I can have a braid, a, what'd you call it, a, a rat's tail? Yeah, I thought I that would be cool, but. And I, I said, absolutely not. <laughs> you rescued Unless, me from a bad decision. That would have been terrible. You were going to go to the store <laughs> with the rat's nest tail? No. <laughs> no. And then, at least I didn't get a mullet. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, that would have been worse. Out, right? <laughs> no, you didn't do a bad job. I don't, I mean, it's really, really hard to cut your own hair. When I did it, I told you I just have the top. I don't have, like, the sides. I just shave but not shaved but like you know with the clippers so Ooh. you actually didn't do a bad job it was just that one little section okay. in the back so yes i did cut it because i thought this bitch she's gonna get drunk and <laughs> she's gonna do that little braid and it's gonna be awful <laughs> yes I, I i'm glad that good friends don't let other their good friends make bad decisions Yes, good friends don't let their friends drive with rat's tails <laughs> or go to the I store. I even thought, well, that'll be so cool, but <laughs> maybe not. I even, if, uh, even if, even if, because we don't go out because we're, you know, um, cove paranoid and actually cove smart and we are cove respectful <laughs> and we're cove fuck you guys we're going insane in the house but once in a while you know like today we went to my my mom's and we were in the backyard hanging out had some burgers some you know a couple of beers uh but um but other than that even if you're just at home in your zoom i'm not gonna let you have a rat still bro i'm, I'm your real friend <laughs> yes i'm so glad you put some sense into my just two beers though so i should have no. i should yeah i know we uh i was full and i'm not wearing the right pants for more beers <laughs> i'm wearing actual clothes <laughs> so i was like oh, okay, good, good, good. but um no i was surprised i was gonna i was gonna take some beers and when i got there and i saw there was none and you know later on when there was none i was like uh okay so uh, my step my stepdad puts he's like, he's like I put some in the freezer. There's they were in the garage. They were fucking like a sauna. <laughs> like it was fucking hot. So but anyway, that's why there was um there wasn't any beer, but I'll take some beer next Saturday for the Halloween thingy. But um yes. Oh well oh shit, dude. So this podcast will actually be out Halloween. I just thought about that shit. We didn't really think this through. <laughs> Wait, fuck it. Halloween. Yeah, fuck it, because by the time, see, it's the 31st, so Dia de los Muertos will be, oh no, Dia de los Muertos will be on the 2nd. So we kind of still, you know, for us Mexicans, that whole week is still like a Hallow's Eve, uh, Dia de los Muertos type of shit, so We'll wear, if you want to wear a costume, if you want to do a costume party, since we already had a, an exit costume party, <laughs> we could do that next Saturday. And then that will be out on like, a, I believe it's the 5th, the Saturday the 5th. But it doesn't matter. We do whatever the fuck we want. I was we'll just thinking, a, um, damn it, we'll when I was, oh God, dude, I didn't even think about that. See, but that one, the Halloween episode is going to be out on the 5th. The episode we record on the 5th when we'll have a new uh, president is going to be out the following Saturday. So it works out perfect. Speaking of new president, I thought I saw a fly. <laughs> like a <the> flash water. <laughs> like this is <laughs> I love it. Where'd you get that? It's oh, a Biden. I, I, oh, where'd you get that? I didn't no, know. 
that same night they started selling them. <laughs> I was like, they always ask me to donate and I'm always like, Eesh, I gotta save my money just in case. But I was like, I'll buy a fly sweater. <laughs> yeah. We don't use a fly sweater. Hell yeah. But um, anyway, let's not get into politics yet. Um, I voted. Oh. Go ahead. I voted. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. And uh, red is my favorite color except yeah. when I vote. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I have hat hair too. Like, my hair's all fucked up. But anyway, I have to tell my nephew because um, every time that he likes to take my hats off, and that's um, you don't do that. That's not polite, I have to tell him, because people get uh -huh. hat hair, and it's not a cool thing. You know, like, girls, sometimes, well, that was back in the day when I was a youngin, girls think that they're being cute, and they're like, oh, my God, and they'll take your hat and wear it, because they think, like, that's cute, and, and bitch, give me my fucking hat, or I'm going to sock you in the mouth. Like, no, don't, you don't do that. You don't fucking do that. You don't take people's hats. That's not cool. Oh, no, I... I would never take Blade's hat. He'd be like, what are you doing? Dude, that's like uh, you need that. either break up or I'll never, I'm will never, i never going to talk to you again. And if we're super, super close or family, I won't talk to you for a year. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know if he would have done that with me, but he would have been like, dude. Well, it depends on what. If we were out, I would have been pissed. If we're just with yeah. family, then no. Okay. Yeah, I'll we just be just like, don't do that. But like, that's almost like there's another thing that if you do to me, I'll. It's really gonna piss me off, and it's not even that big of a deal to people, but to me it is. But I feel like a hat thing is a universal thing. Like people get hat hair, especially some people that like, let's say you didn't do your hair that day, or some men, or even women that are bald, and you take their hat off. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know? Or yeah. like, like uh. Black people, when they do their, they have, they haven't done their braids or anything, and you take their hat, like, that's fucked up. Like, that's really disrespectful. Or if you touch, like, if people want to touch your hair, I think that's so weird. Like, that is fucking like, weird. Especially for, you know, black hair, because I guess white people are fascinated with, they're like, can I touch your hair? And I, I knew this one lady, she had just a fro, and uh, this guy was like, can I touch your hair? And she's like, no like oh god i can't believe me at least he asked but she was like no yeah but like, that's just like um can i touch touch your tip yeah it, like it looks nice i i've never seen them that big can i uh, even if you ask you can't just ask for that type of shit like that's yeah, your personal that's, space your body you're like nah that's fucked up dude. Well, like i don't know this is off the subject but like women that are pregnant people oh. just come up and touch their stomach and they don't ask like See? When, is it, when is it okay to just touch someone especially if you're like a like a person you don't know especially like if I it's agree. your mom or dad come on but i agree and and i feel like some some women um i haven't had a lot of experiences because you know in my field like and pretty much i'm i would say that i'm mainly more around white pregnant women than it or i've been in my lifetime around more white pregnant women than any other type of um uh, woman that's pregnant so sometimes i feel that they're totally cool with that they want you to like oh yeah feel it like feel this but still you gotta fucking ask you can't just be like oh my gosh you're pregnant who gave you this baby inside you <laughs> <laughs> it's just weird uh I mean, even family, I mean, you know, especially now, if, if you know, because of COVID, you know, just like, touching oh. is it's on a whole new level, you know? Oh, a hundred percent. Like, yeah, we're, we're on a different level now that I'm kind of glad because I'm the type of person, I don't get massages. I don't go to spas. I, you know, have a, like, I don't like to go swimming in public, like with, with a lot of people. So I'm weird about like people looking at my body and touching it. 
So I'm kind of glad that now we're in a new era where it's wrong <laughs> to do it because I think I've told you before, I have a coworker and he's a male and every time we went to a place, a, a you know, a professional business situation, he would walk in and he always shakes hands, which I think is cool. It's very professional and very like, um, you know, um, how do you say, it's not customer service, but it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's you build, build the relationship, right? Which is what you're essentially doing with everybody professionally uh, and in life in general. But I would be like, all right, um, so let me shake the hand. And no, immediately they go to hugs to me. And I'm like, why can't he shake hands and you have to hug me? Like, don't fucking touch me, gross. But you know, I've had that experience with my hair too. And I know I have beautiful, luscious hair, black, shiny, beautiful, raven, black hair, but... <laughs> uh, uh, I've had people, especially women, they're like, oh my God, your hair is so be beautiful. And then like, they just want to fucking, you don't run your fingers through someone's hair. Like that's so intimate. Like what's wrong with you? You know, like, yeah, it's, it's like, again, like I said, let me caress that big old titty. Let me make yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, even like children. Let me make it bounce. <laughs> even children, I think you should ask them to you know do you want to hug or do you want to like you know i i think it maybe they don't like hugs so you, you never can assume i know yeah, when i was little my aunties would just come and like pinch my cheeks and i'd be like what are you doing like i haven't seen them forever and they're like all oh. you don't even remember who the fuck who the fuck they are <laughs> well they're like from texas and stuff and they're just like loud and big hair and they come and like fill you up like <laughs> no not filling me up but you know just hugging like like who are you lady and little kids they don't understand like who their auntie is that they haven't seen in like a couple of years so or so like, fucking go ahead sorry homie. you're like a baby and then they see you when you're three or four they're like oh i saw you when you're a baby i was like well i didn't I don't remember you lady so stay away from me and but, some parents yeah. that they're all oh like their best friend or something is like that's your auntie that's your uncle no it's fucking not but as a kid you don't know when you're like forced to or they're like go give them a hug like why i you know it's different when it's someone like for example you you know you're like my family so yeah. you and my nephew of course you know now you, we don't even gotta ask him now like he but it's different like give larissa a hug because i mean you're always there it's just him being like a little you know weird because he's my nephew but anyway so but other kids like you said that you haven't seen that person in forever and you just go give them a kiss and a hug give him a kiss and a hug like why bro you kiss him in the fucking asshole see how you feel like that's weird to me like no <laughs> Yeah, little kids don't understand like the relationship thing. No. Nah. Um, they barely want to, you know, kiss their. <laughs> well, they kiss their mom and dad, but I mean, but yeah. Hey, you know, I actually like the way your hair looks with that hat. I don't think you did a bad job, bro. Like, I think you're overthinking it, and obviously, it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect or even. I told you, mine's not either. When I when I put it in like a little semi ponytail i have like the little ratchet areas and i don't know how the fuck they are short because to me i feel like i'm oh wait my cat's going through a episode it's okay i told you he goes through episodes and um uh, he'll be taking a little nap it's okay baba did he wake up from a nap <laughs> yeah, he'll, and, but it's weird because those naps, when he goes through episodes, they're like quick, like a few minute nap. And he'll wake up and he like does one of these. And he has like his eyes super fucking wide and he's staring at me like, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? And why the fuck am I here? And I just tell him, Tenoch, it's okay, Papa, is your home? And I put my hand out and he smells it. And then he's okay. But like before, at the beginning, when I just got him, I didn't know what the fuck was wrong with him. I was just like, bro, like, why, why are you being like that? And he gets closer to me and I feel like he's about to attack. So that's when I started like telling him like, what's wrong? Like, calm down. I remember I had a, a, a boss. I used to work for this uh, evil lawyer. <laughs> 
she was evil. But um, she said that she had a, her ex had a, a Doberman. Is that what you call those dogs? Doberman? 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 Yeah, Dober. Okay, because in, in, in Spanish, we call him Doberman. <laughs> so, um, but he had like mental issues, the dog. And they took him to the van and all kinds of places. So the, the dude left, they separated and he left, but he had an apartment so he couldn't have the dog with him. So he's like, can you just please take care of him until I find a place? But she said she didn't like to, so basically the, the vet said that he was schizophrenic. Like he had some, oh, wow. yeah. So it was fucking scary for her because she said she would wake up in the middle of the night to try to get a, a glass of water or something. And the fucking dog would have an episode and he would like, he didn't recognize her at all and he would like think like holy fuck there's an intruder so she was terrified that whenever she, he had those episodes that he was gonna attack her but anyway so, um, because of that i i thought like is he having like something going on like that and i like i said when i talked to him and sometimes when he's sleeping like he has it looks like he's having these awful dreams like he twitches like really really weird and um, I tell him, like, the nosh, and he'll stop. So now that he loves me, you know. But any, I was telling this uh, lovely lady about this situation, and I was like, my poor cat, he's crazy. He has mental issues. Like, I don't know what's wrong with him. I feel bad. And he's like, well, you know what they say. They're owners. Like, their pets are just like them. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> uh... Oh, baby. Ah. But she's right. Uh, apparently, I do wake up like that. <sighs> <laughs> he just, he's just like, that's when he knows. So. Well, I just never seen it myself because of myself doing it, you know? So I noticed something. No, I'm like, that little fucking weirdo, what's wrong with him? I feel bad for him. She's like, yeah, yeah you do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I caught the spider web. I got the spider web on my hat and my beautiful fedora. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what were we say? Oh, dude! So when I got home, um, I don't know why I don't like to be quiet. So I always have something playing, whether it's a TV, news, cartoons, or a podcast happening. So as soon as I got here, what I, first thing I do is turn the TV on, then put my stuff away, wash my hands, do everything I have to do, right? and uh get my little drink so anyway um i was um i was gonna put the simpsons on real quick like a treehouse of horror just to do what i had to do before we started the podcast and on hulu no yeah hulu they also have that bad hair movie oh and it, it was like hair oh. and a hand coming out of it Oh, that's where, it, it wasn't Netflix, it was Hulu. Oh, because I was going to tell you, I'm going to watch it on Hulu, because that's where I saw it. And I was just like, and now I'm so curious, so I'm definitely watching it tonight. I know it's Saturday Night Live, you know, but if, and all oh, Saturday Night Live is going to be amazing, because it's going to be Adele and her as the as the artist. But, but if it gets a little boring, I'll just record Saturday Night Live and watch uh, yeah. Bad Hair, or I'll watch it after because I'm super curious about it, bro. Now I want to watch it. It's very, it's very interesting. Well, I told you I was watching last night. Um, it's a lot of like black culture about their hair and oh, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, for, from what you when I asked you if uh, like people's hair fall off and shit like that is because I have nightmares that my teeth fall off. Oh. And someone's, uh, I read in a book that a long time ago, so I don't know how true this is, but that every dr reoccurring dream that I have, a stupid fucking website or book will say that, oh, it's because you're always, you're always going to have relationship problems. And I'm like, fuck you. And I like, my old ass at this point is like, God damn it. They were right. <laughs> So when you said like the hair falls off and shit, I was like, oosh, I don't know. But last night I was watching uh, Creep and I saw after Creep 2, and I was uh, I was reading an article, I think it was on GQ that said the best Netflix movie, uh, scary movies out there right now. And Creep was number one, Creep 2 was number two. So I was like, I have to watch it. That shit, bro. <sighs> 
Like I had to, when I went to get a drink, I went to the restroom and I like, you know, when you pull the curtain, uh, the, your shower curtain all fast, like trying to beat the person, the bad person, yeah. Cause you're like thinking you're going to beat them because you're going to scare them instead of them scaring you. I did one of those. So I was like, yeah, I'm freaked out. <laughs> so that shit scared me, bro. And it wasn't like, see, I don't like the gory. Not that I don't like them. I will watch a gory, scary movie, but I prefer something that really fucks with you. That really like, I was looking at my windows. I checked my doors and shit. And I was like, yeah, this is creepy. <laughs> it's called creep. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching Hocus Pocus. Just now? Yeah. Because I wanted to uh, hear, because your nephew was talking about, what's your favorite? And I'm like, uh. We came out with like three different scenes. Larissa's is like, uh, when they put a spell on someone. <laughs> I'm like, ah, uh, bitch, you're not fooling anybody. He's four, but he knows like, that you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so have i ever told you i've been in love with sarah jessica parker for like about 30 some years <laughs> like it first started with Fo footloose that was a year after i was born then it was hocus pocus 10 years later and then mars attack that was I think that was in the 90s. I don't remember when Mars Attack. Do you have you ever seen Mars Attack? Mm -hmm. I, I want to say it's in the 90s, but I don't remember. But it was after Hocus Pocus for sure. But I've been in love with her. Like Fox Sex in the City, it was way before that shit. I was just like, oh, yeah. I love her. And some of my <laughs> girls just want to have fun or something. I never seen that one. She's in a dance contest. Oh. With the. Uh, I forgot who the other actors were, but um, I think they win the contest or something. But it is like the 90s. I have to see that one. That movie, Bad Hair, is set in um, kind of in the 90s where, you know, they had the gummy haircut, you know. Oh, shit, yeah. And uh, they wore the, like, colorful hip-hop clothes. And, uh, it, yeah, it, it, in one of the magazines, it's called Culture. Or not ma magazine, but it's, they have a, I think a radio, I think it's a radio station, but, and Vanessa Williams. Ooh, I love me some Vanessa Williams. And Blair Underwood. And he's got gray hair and everything, so. Huh. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but, um, I, I was going to tell you, um, when you know i was like obsessed with sarah jessica parker and my brother's yeah. like you're, you're crazy she looks like a horse and i'm oh. like damn i was like well i love horses you see <laughs> well she i think she just has a different look i mean dang but yeah. that's cool yeah, that was cold, but I told you they're having a Hocus Pocus reunion on October 30th. Uh, you have to pay $10. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I was all in until Bette Midler said you have to pay $10, $10 for what I think is going to be like a Zoom type of shit. I don't know, bro. I'll just wait for the movie. Like yeah. Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out at one point if these fuckers start respecting the, you know, wearing a mask situation but that just, on be, Disney or what is it on? It's going to be on Disney on October, oh. October 30th. I, I don't remember what time, but it's October 30th. And I think my brother's going to get it for my nephew, but, um, I don't know. I don't think that he'll even be interested in it because, um, it's, it, she said, Beth Miller said this first, when she posted the picture, all three of them, I forgot Mary's name, but, Sada's name is Sarah Jessica Parker and uh, Winnie Fred is Bette Midler, the witches, right? So they're all wearing their, their witch costume and they have a green screen. So I was just like, cool. But when they were interviewing her, 
she's like, it won't be one of those boring Zoom meetings. Or like she said, it won't be one of those boring Zooms. It's going to be like more blah, blah, blah. And people are going to actually get up and do things. So I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's going to be like the Brady Bunch type of shit where all the squares are there. I don't know if I want to pay $10 for that. Yeah, that's you know? crazy. Mm -hmm. But okay. if I had a kid that loved it as much as my nephew does, I definitely would. Because it would be like something we do that night, you know? But alone, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it myself. I'd rather watch movies like Bad Hair and that shit. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna have to watch Crate. Crate. I mean, talk about like scary shit. New Mexico is having their highest numbers. We're in, up in the 800 and some, almost 900. And these fuckers are still going out to have a drink and to hang out and because they're bored and oh my god don't they understand that we're so tired and we just have want to have a good time shut the fuck up like one year y'all can't because it wouldn't have been the whole year if everybody would like would have fucking chill but one year you can't give up and i understand for kids it's different because they're actually missing a very important years year of their lives like whether it's like pre-k first second grade third grade like you're graduating from high school you're going into college like i know for them is different but for grown-ups you can't give up one year of your life in order for people to survive you're that fucking selfish wear a mask. it's and fucking disgusting bro did you see that if people don't start wearing masks the percentages of how many will die by february yeah it's fucking like, gross. They're in mass, people. They yeah. from six feet. Like everybody today, huh? It was like the same people that we've been cooped up in our houses where when we went to the cabin that we haven't done anything, we showed up with a mask, all of us. And we were outside. Talk about like safety shit. And it was like not that many of us, you know? Yeah. I don't know, bro. It's fucking gross, but um, it reminds me of uh, <laughs> the, the debate, bro. That fucking shit was insane. Like, what happened to the mute button? <laughs> I know. I'm like, um, nobody muted him when he started talking. And then his stupid face. He does that. Like, what is that, pendejo? Oh, dude. I told you I watched Borat yesterday because I actually got freaked out by Creep and Creep 2. So I got freaked out by Creep, but I was like, I need a little more. And then Creep 2, oh, so this is what happened. So I was watching Creep 1, and I was like just having a little beer. But I, I got my uh, little sample from Flaviar. Shout out to Flaviar, but you got to be nicer to us, bro. Like, you, you fuckers are expensive and... I don't feel like I'm really getting anything out of you. Like I'm paying exactly what I would pay at the store for like three little samples every three months. Like get the fuck out of here, you know? But anyway, I appreciated my samples. Last night I had a, I think I got, I think there were like uh, uh, Kentucky whiskeys, all of them. Mm. And they were, they were, they were pretty good, but I started having them because I was like, oh, fuck, I think I need a whiskey. I can't just be drinking a beer watching this shit. Like, you know, I drink a beer when I watch football. <laughs> you know? So anyway, but then I was like, oh, so all of a sudden my computer was doing sounds that, um, you know, like the, when you get an email and stuff like that, but my computer was off. So I was like, what the fuck? So I got my whiskey and then I was like, nah, I'm going to watch set Creep 2, like, the article said that the second best movie on Netflix right now, scary movie, is Creep 2. So I was like, nah, I'm going to go ahead and watch it. So I did. And my computer kept doing that shit. So I was like, what the fuck, dude? But anyway, so I disconnected it. It kept doing it. Anyway, um, when I, after that, I was like, I definitely need to watch something else. So I watched Borat, the second one that show was fucking hilarious and i understand don't get me wrong it was really ratchet racist but it was the type of races that i don't know how to explain it it was like remember sausage fest <laughs> people were like disgusted like that is the gross i remember that was back when i was still on facebook that is the most disgusting thing in the world i would never blah, 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 blah. then don't watch it i walked out of the theater good for you it's cool. It's fine. It's almost like, you know, we were talking shit about what's his name? Um, 
blur something blur um that hosted saturday night live and i told you a lot of white people were like that he was good it was now it's oh, like charlamagne charlamagne thought he was awesome uh joe budden thought he was great so it was i think the majority of straight men thought it was great and they're like we don't know why the lgbt are so uh you know got their her uh, feelings hurt because it was i guess it was a joke at her expense 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 how do you say yeah it was a joke at her expense for black lives matter which i'm willing to take that because it's like i don't feel like you should take from uh, somebody that has heard in order to give some you know it's almost like why don't they take from white people why didn't he make fun of white men you know like they have plenty to take from but okay yeah. let's say anyway just to go back to my point is that i guess a lot of people found him funny i didn't think the sketches were funny i'm not talking shit about the monologue i didn't think the sketches were funny at all but again some people feel a certain way so some people feel some way about sausage fest when I watched it, I was like, I don't see the big fucking deal. I get it. It's racist as fuck, and it has, like, some, but I don't know. Like, you know, Seth Rogen is Jewish, and he makes a lot of, you know, jokes also. Uh, Chappelle makes a lot of jokes about black people, gay people, trans people, you know, white people. Is it because he's black that he can make jokes, but white people can't? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So uh, I guess that's another discussion. But <laughs> Borat. Bora, I didn't know if the uh, if Sasha um, Baron Cohen was um, was Jewish, but when I told you I saw the scene when he goes and asks the cake lady to write on the cake, Jews will never replace us. I was like, he has to be Jewish because he he can't be making that fucking joke. It's crazy. Yeah, and yet, he is Jewish. But anyway, like um, N-word. that like you the, can't say the N word unless you're black. So right, right. But you can joke about Jewish people, and I know it's ratchet, but it's not, I don't know, I guess it depends. Like, if you do Holocaust or nose jokes, that's a little different, maybe. The New York jo- Jew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's our New York Jew. <laughs> oh, dude. Am I ratchet for saying that? I swear to God, one day it's going to come back and bite me in the ass, bro. But if, if she comes on the show and, like, shows that we have that relationship and people don't really care to be honest with you people won't care that we have that relationship it'll be just like you're a ratchet you nasty lesbian but anyway so i feel like borat is that is those types of jokes that offend some and but get you talking and get you thinking and like i I don't know bro it's just like some stuff in there was fucking crazy first of all you can see how racist america really is or yeah. how they look the other way and just <laughs> he came in and asked uh, a la- uh, they went to a dress place and they're like he's like I'm here to buy a dress for my 15 year old where's your section that no means yes and the lady <laughs> and she takes out a dress <laughs> what the fuck oh my god but then the, the, uh, they're like See, I'm about to say something rash. Eh, I'll fucking say it. Or maybe I'll edit this shit. But like, they're like the me. No, we're on the Me Too movement. But you're laughing when a man makes a joke like that. You know what I mean? It's like I always tell yeah. you when dicks around the fucking building, straight women act different. Especially like white straight women. They're like they forget that everything that they think or matters or that they support is just like him. <laughs> Especially if the guy is cute, of course, you know. But anyway, <laughs> of course not. Oh, I have to tell you my story about my flu shot. (laughs) Tell me. (laughs) You texted me and said it was awful. (laughs) Hey, hold on. I'm getting real, real, real quick. I'm going to get some whiskey. I need a drink too. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to get it more. (laughs) Hold the phone, baby. Hey. La, 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 la. La, la, la. This jacket is so tight on me that I'm like, I feel like it's cutting the circulation of my, <laughs> my armpits. <laughs> yeah, I, stuff is tight on me too. What do you do? Um, I was going to show you that new whiskey that I got. Oh, yeah. So, how do I know where it's from? But it's Penelope? 
it doesn't say on the back? Uh, it's named after our founder's daughter, Penelope Bourbon, provides a balanced flavor profile that is, okay, probably not there, right? <laughs> um, it doesn't say Kentucky. made in Kentucky. Oh, Penelope. Yeah. It looks like a, like a wine or something. The bottle's fucking huge. I was just like, oh. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? My mom like texted me as well. The what? I like him huge. Hey, fuck, hold on. I've been dreaming about him. <laughs> Larisi like a big. I've been what dreaming about penises. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, I, dream, I dream about vagina all the time. Oh, just quick story. Um, I got this email. <laughs> I get emails about the election and every, like, literally almost every hour i get yeah, this fucking email and it says hey my government name this is scarlett johansson you might know me from whatever but the but the but the subject is like actually it says from scarlett johansson to peaches i'd like to meet you tonight my government name <laughs> I was like, what? Walk over, baby. <laughs> Excuse me? So I click on it and she's like, you might know me from the Avengers and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, what the fuck, dude? Let me see if I can get a good angle. You can't, her face is too, you can't see. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't get any like that. Dude. <laughs> Yeah. Well, just tell me when and where and then I see and she's like join me at uh, 7 p.m. just pay $20 for this <sighs> fuck dude I'm you fucking don't get poor. anyone from like hot guys what, what, what? that was a good one Biden did a good job bro <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like she's, she's like trying to appeal to white men she's like and lesbians <laughs> Uh, Scarlett Johansson was like, you might know me as the Black Guido. Bitch, I've been in love with you since fucking Ghost World. Since fucking, like, when she was, like, young. I was young, too. Don't think I'm a pervert. But I love Scarlett Johansson. It's almost like a Sarah. It's almost like Sarah, 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 Sarah Jessica Sacra. It's almost like Sarah Jessica. It's almost like regular Diggler Schmiggler Sarah Jessica Parker just, and she's not a regular Diggler Schmiggler girl because she's a total New York girl, but like Sarah Jessica Parker just be like, hey, I want to meet you tonight, Peaches. Well, yes. I'm straight. I want to meet her. <laughs> oh, that email got me, bro, but fuck, I went totally off the I mean, subject. If you wanted to say something. something, I probably would. I'd, I'd experiment <laughs> with her. Come on. <laughs> And I hope you invite me because I'll call you room for one more. <laughs> yes. My friend, she would probably like it more. I'd be like, I will just watch if that's okay. <laughs> that might be a little weird, but. It will be. <laughs> but if she wants nothing else and she wants everything with you, then just let me watch. <laughs> okay. Please. Please, I would do that to you. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I sacrifice myself like that because if a dude wanted to be with me and you wanted to watch, ooh, dude, he had to be like, who could it be? Um, well, you know, Brad Pitt's one of my man crushes, but I don't like him like that, like that. I just think he's fucking cool as fuck. Hmm. Interesting. I know who I find attractive. Um, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, okay. I think he's really attractive. He's really pretty in the face. Um, Jared Little. I like him pretty, like a pretty boy, you know? <laughs> I love Jared. When, um, my so-called life. Oh, yeah. I like, <laughs> what's her name, too? Claire Dates. Yes. I still watch reruns of that. Anyways. Yeah, so, what were you going to tell me? I was going to tell you about my little fiasco to my pharmacy so my doctors when i was there and my doctor last in jan was it was june and uh he's like 
I think you should get the flu shot because blah, blah, blah. And I think you should get the shingle shot. The shingle shot. <laughs> that sounds so funny. Shot. And so, shot. so I'm hearing all this stuff, you know, everyone should get the flu shot, you know, just in case because the flu might just be like. I already got mine. Weird. Yeah, weird because of COVID and everything. So I go online and you fill out these forms and they already, my pharmacy already has all my information. So I filled out, they just ask you like, have you had COVID? Have you ha been exposed? Have you, you know, had a fever? Are you sick? Blah, blah, blah. And so I fill this out and I schedule a time to get the shot. I'm boom, bang. I don't have to stand in line or, you know, be around. Because some people that go there are sick, you know, because they're getting meds. You know, they and Some people are ratchet and they might have the corona. Yeah. And so I, I go up to the thing and I'm early. I'm like 10 minutes early. And I'm like, yeah, I'm here to get a flu shot. And they're like, oh yes, uh, what's your name? And I tell them my name and they, they're like, yeah, just have a seat over there and they'll call you. And so I wait and I wait. And by the way, this, this place is called the Minute Clinic. And so I'm like, oh, I'll be there in a minute. I'll get out, I'll go about my merry way. So I'm there like 15 minutes. They call me. Well, they call me. I heard my name. It was distinct because my, you know, government name. Um, you know what my government name is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not many people have a name like my government name. And uh, so I stand up and they're like, Sounds, sounds like a profession and a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Clark Kent, like, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, are you waiting? And I'm like, I thought I heard somebody call my name. And uh, so it's like another 10 minutes after that. And so this guy, I'm not, I'm not bagging on old men or anything, but. Do it. Oh, was like, he white? Well, I can't really tell with the mask. Okay. He, he, I don't know. I don't think he was white, but he was an older guy. Okay. And so he comes out with this little, like, little thing. It has the shot and the little, um, you know, the alcohol thing. The that wop. They, the wob. The swab. Oh, the wob. Okay. Alcohol, the wob. Was like, he came out with this wob. I was like, wait, what? Was he the... The man with the pussy, the porn dude. <laughs> but he came out with this little, like, so it was so ratchet. It was just like, I don't know. You know, you know how they do they do the alcohol swab on your arm before, and uh, so he comes out and he has his mask on and it's it's Kobe Bryant. It's a Kobe Bryant mask. Oh, and, I was like what? Wait, I was like, bro, no. you died and came back. <laughs> no, he had the mask, and I was like, oh, cool, you have them. And then I looked at his lab coat, and it was all, like, wrinkly. Like, he just took it out of, like, the laundry or something and wore it. And He looked so, like Rick and Mor like Rick from Rick and Morty? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, it, it just looked really unprofessional. And it's in the lobby, you know, where you're waiting for to like for your prescriptions if you come in yeah and, and and so it has this little little screen thing white screen for privacy and privacy. You can move it. and it's like they give you a shot like right in the thick of things like everyone could see you know like there's no privacy um so he's like come step into my office and i'm like okay <laughs> but before that uh, an older, I'm not bagging on older men, I swear. If we have older- It's fine, I, who gives a shit, bro? They're men. This guy is sitting in the chair before, and I don't think anything of it, but when he gets up from this chair behind this little white thing, um, he is like, he's an older guy, and he doesn't have his mask on right. It's like the here. And he's he he's, up, he's wearing uh he's wearing the chin diaper. Yeah. And so he's an older guy and I'm like and he is like 
he's got like this jacket on and I just happened to look at his jacket on like on the back of his back. There's some on the back of his back. <laughs> the back, you know, by his, you know. I know, bro. I know. And it looks looks like shit. Like I don't I don't know if there's rust, but it looked like maybe he got his jacket caught while he was taking a shit and it looked like shit. And he was sitting in that chair when he got up and then, you know, I'm waiting and then the guy's like, have a seat in this chair where I think this guy shit and didn't wipe. And so I was like panicking. I was like, so he just sat on the edge, like, okay, just give me a fucking shot. Let me go about my way. Cause this is the fucking, it's not a minute fucking clinic. It's 60 minute clinic. So Did I sit you sit there. down. Yeah, because he's going to give me a shot. <laughs> you couldn't stand up while he was giving you the shot? I could have, but... And then he's like, oh, well, you have a big you have a big arm, so I, I won't miss. <laughs> or something <laughs> like... He just makes a little mark, like, side mark about... You oh, have my enough God, arm. bro! <laughs> you have enough arm there for you, for me to give you the shot. I'm like, <laughs> okay, fuck you. And I... You know, I was, I was a little, maybe about the same height. So I don't know if he would have, <laughs> I, I think he would have been okay. But, um, so I'm all freaked out and I'm like, give me the sanitizer. So he gives me the shot and he's like, oh, this will, this might not hurt. You know, the flu, it doesn't, it, most people don't have reactions, blah, blah, blah. And so he gives me the shot and he does the alcohol thing and, uh, he puts a little band-aid on there and then he walks away and I'm like, oh wait a minute, I I had a shingle shot too. I ordered it online. And he's like, he just walks away and I'm like waiting there, like, okay. What the fuck? And five minutes later, he's like, Well, I'll be right with you, ma'am. And he goes back to his little thing, because I could see him. And he starts doing his like pharmacy stuff and he He's like throwing these pharmacy things like in this little box. He's restocking <laughs> before giving you your shot. I, I know. And so I the guy at the, the oh, did uh, you go in an alley or an actual fucking pharmacy? <laughs> I know. I know. I might as well have gone in the alley and he just came with this ratchet ass wrinkly coat. <laughs> What the yeah. hell? So the guy's like at the computer, a different guy, the one that I spoke to at the beginning. And he's like, I need to have you fill out this form. And I'm like, um, I thought this was the minute clinic. <laughs> like, you, you mean the form that I filled out online? <laughs> I, I like, I filled that out already. And he's like, well, it didn't come through. And I'm like, oh, seriously. God. So I had to redo it and sign my name. And so I wait after that, I wait. And then he comes, he's like, oh, well, let's do it in the other arm. Cause this one hurts. Like it, most people say it hurts for a couple of days afterwards. And it might make you feel a little nauseous, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like. So didn't, it didn't matter that you got a, a, the, what do you call your arm? Like a lot to work with? Yeah. So um and after like i was there i think an hour i didn't really look at the clock but and then all these people were there were so many people just in the drive-thru and then all these people were coming in and just like it, it wasn't my personal pharma pharmacy by my house it was the one on central and why did you go there because they didn't my pharmacy that I get most of my prescriptions, um, they don't do the minute clinic there or something. Yeah, but they do a 30 minute clinic and you went to a 60 minute clinic. Yeah. <laughs> and cause, but just the way they had everything, it just seemed right disorganized. Like there was baskets everywhere. There was lined up people and there were a bunch of pharmacists too. So like, I think it was just poorly managed. And so I don't think I want to go to that one anymore. I'll go downtown Manal and 
central. I don't care, but I'm never going back there. And then all these people were just, there was a lot of people there and there's like these little dinky chairs and they weren't six feet, six feet apart. And they're like, you can sit down. I'm like, no, I don't want to sit down on the, on the shit. <laughs> I was like, you want me to, I should have said, um, I think this guy before me, like, didn't wipe very well or something <laughs> or wash his hands and then, but anyways, but that was my ordeal. I, and then I, I, came home and I was fine. And then the next day I felt, they said you do have some reaction, like nausea and a little bit like a chills and fevery, fevery-ish. And I had weird dreams. So- Weirder? Weirder. Like dreams of psychedelic parties of- Oh shit. That is like, I don't remember them actually. I know it was just weird, like I was on acid or something. Plus, the guy <laughs> sounds like he was living in a van down by the river, bro. Uh, seriously, like he had a scruffy beard. Like he didn't, you know, you work at a pharmacy, you need to like, at least keep it groomed. Bro, anywhere professional. And don't people working in pharmacies make a little bit more than your average? I don't know, but he, I just looked at his his lab coat and it was just like yeah like where did he get it from where does he keep it think about it like he has to live in his car like where does he keep his lab coat that is not if you have even a studio apartment that shit it could hang somewhere if yeah. it's wrinkly where is he keeping this shit bro in the laundry and he didn't have time to do laundry and so he just pulled it out of his laundry basket or on the floor or something but it was just like i don't know i don't, I don't know bro you didn't, you, you, and, you didn't want to judge him i'm judging him <laughs> what the fuck I, I mean i've never i've actually never been to a pharmacy and gotten a flu shot at i usually get it at my doctor so well i went to a um place like this i'll just say it it was a walgreens and it was um, right by your house, because you know my mom lives right by you guys. Well, you, why well, we? I think I've said this. You, my brother, my mom live around the same place, and um, it was fucking okay. Well, the first girl, the one that was, and you know, like I hate to say this, but she was the lower, the lower <laughs> tier, and because she has to get more school in order to do other things, right? So the lower girl was awful she was kind of i wasn't sure because i i can usually tell where you whether you're being racist or homophobic to me i couldn't tell which one was the one that she was having the issue with but she was giving me that vibe and that those just those vibrations and those those uh, um you know whatever but once i got the doctor they took me into a room it was a private room and I had a sweatshirt that was kind of tight on my shoulders. So I was just like, do you need me to take this off? And she's like, if, if you're okay with it. And it was a white lady that, that was uh, going to give me, and her coat wasn't wrinkly. <laughs> and so I took my sweater, my, my hoodie off in one side. And she was like, oh, super careful. And she's like, and just so you know, blah, 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 this and that. And she was like, really like talking me through it. And I was like, no, it's fine. I'm cool with it. If you want to look the other way, just because and I was like, no, I'm, I'm okay with it. I heard that guys are the ones, like men are the ones that have issues with this, right? And she's like, oh my God, yeah, you wouldn't believe. And she started telling me stories about like dudes, wow. you know, just like whatever. She gives me the shots. She's super sweet. She like, just tells me you know try to rub it move it around don't baby it people make that mistake and it starts hurting like she was the sweetest fucking thing like that ratchet girl that i'm kind of used to dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis when i'm out in the world um that was just one little part but she was super nice it was quick it was private <laughs> she her coat was not wrinkly <laughs> you know well, i just think of people like like my husband he wouldn't he doesn't like needles and like it freaks him out like he has a phobia of needles yeah, but no but but let's let's really unpack this men say that i've i don't know how many men i've heard say that i don't really like needles what the fuck does that really mean because like again 
uh, I rem- I saw, you know, I tell you, I edit the podcast, so I see your fucking ratchetness again and again and again and again, like Drake says. So I said something in the last podcast where I was about to talk about my phobia, and I'm not ready to talk about this because you motherfuckers have to subscribe and like more than what you do before I open up like this or Larissa opens up. But I have a phobia that's a little bit more complicated, you know? So people are always like, oh, get over it. Oh, just immerse yourself into this. Or like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, fuck you. Because it's like, I can tell those same fucking people that have told me that shit. Why don't we just poke the fuck out? Because the men, I should say, that have told me that. Why don't we poke the fuck out of you with a needle until you get over it? So you know what I mean? Like, my phobia is a little bit more, like, weird and, and like, I don't know really how to deal with it. Needles, bro, I hear this a lot from nurses, from doctors, from like, you know, just medical specialists or people like that, you know, pharmacy people. Like, so I almost feel like is this cop cop out, this cop out that men have like, yeah, I have a thing about needles. Like, bro, why have I heard that from 40% of the men that I know? Mm. That's too much, bro. <laughs> nah. And how many people you know that have my phobia? I, I, I don't know anyone. And I don't know if you remember my mother's phobia. I don't know many people that have hers. So it's like, I feel like this is another guy cop out of like, oh, well, this is, oh, I can't even look at it. Oh, it's because, nah. No, I think it's just how they say, you know, like if men would actually give birth, they would fall apart and die. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I think like, it's the same deal. They just can't handle shit. And you know, usually I'm not defending like feminism or anything like that because I'm I'm pretty machista myself. But I just don't feel like we have to give them this whole like, I'm afraid of needles. Get the fuck out of here. It's like us saying like, I'm afraid that I don't get paid as much as men do and I have a phobia. No, bitch, that's the <laughs> life. That's life. Like, yeah. you know, I'm afraid that I'm going to be treated differently when I go to a mechanic because I'm a lady. No, bitch, that's life. Get out of yeah. here. <laughs> nah. Well, I think a lot of men, like, when they get sick, um, they're like, I know my husband turned into the biggest baby, like, oh, I'm sick, and... Oh, I have a cold in my nose. I'm like, please. Now we're going to call that a phobia? They have a I phobia would, of the cold? It's not a phobia. It's just, they try to be all macho, but when they get sick, it's like, oh, you don't take care of me. You don't, you're not giving me soup. I'm like, hey, I was sick the other day. I didn't see you giving me soup. I work with, you know, people that pick their nose and <laughs> and wipe it on toys, so. Bro, we get a fucking period every month. And I know I act like a baby, but I do it to myself. If I went out to my partner, like, or if I was straight to a guy like, you don't understand. And okay, I know some women, like, do play with it or, like, whatever. But men don't give a fuck about the period. So it's like, don't you, oh, you got a cold? (sighs) Yeah, they don't know the, the pain of period. And, the and that's a real fucking pain, bro. That's not they just like, oh, I got that. a cold, I can't breathe. Like, I get severe colds. I have asthma. When I get a cold, I'm a baby too. Because I'm a machista and because I can't breathe. But um, the period, though, like, that shit is ratchet. We deal with that or- shit every fucking month. You know what? The, I, you know, speaking of that, let me, I just want to say something real quick. Like, there was something that happened on The Breakfast Club where... Uh, Charlemagne was talking about like we don't need phones, blah blah blah. And Angela Yee was like, oh, "Why? Well, I, I, I like that. to, I like to tr- keep track of my period. Oh, you've had your period for how many thirty some years, and you can't keep a track. You know, just real quick. I heard that Angela Yee's in her forties. I don't know if that's true, but that goddamn she looks good. Anyway, going back. Oh, how can you not know? Like you've had that shit for years. You how can you not keep your blah, 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 blah. I don't think they fully understand how this works and how you, sometimes it changes. Sometimes we sy- synchronize ourselves because a bigger, badder bitch is in town. Like, I don't think they understand this shit. So I thought that was super ratchet. I don't think that there's anything wrong 
with having a fucking application that reminds you when you had it last month, when it reminds you when you ovulated in case you want to have children or yeah. just myself. I know when I'm ovulating, bro, I like I'm so fucking horny, you know? So it's like, that's important to fucking know. So Especially if you're older and you want to find out how many days, like, in between and that stuff that they the doctors ask you every time when's the last time you had your period like and we're just supposed to like oh well i've had it for uh how many fucking years so i should know this right bro i never know i'm always like uh yeah i i mean i put it on because you're sick you know yeah. when you go and you're sick like men are like <laughs> help me help me i'm sick i have a cold it's like asking a dude when's the last time you got a paper cut Oh, you don't remember? Like a guy that works in an office, let's say. Oh, you don't remember? But you get those all the time. You've gotten them since you were 15, 14, 13. And you don't remember? Well, what kind of fucking ratchet ass are you? You don't remember when you got, like, you should already know. Like, you know what I mean? I know this is like stretching it, but like, it, it fucking bugged me. Get out of here, bro. Like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, when he was saying, oh, I don't need a cell phone. I just need cell phone for texts and, and, Angelie, what about your f pictures? Don't you get pictures? And he didn't really say anything about like, don't you want to snap a photo of like your little kid graduating or, and he's like, no, I don't want to be attached to my little, and then he was just like, I was, he's being just like a little self -righteous. You know why though, bro? You know how many employees or like people around him, even if it's not that many, like a Mariah Carey type of situation, but yeah. he has people that do that that's why i tell you like what did you do lately that i told you i wish we you would have had a camera following you like if we had those people following us and we had like an assistant even an assistant bro like that would be enough but a, an assistant a video person that like takes video and photographs of us uh our, you know when life happens and we catch those moments when this is the reason why we created the podcast because we have those moments all the fucking time <laughs> but something happened to you lately and i was like ah that would have been so fucking cool if it would have been caught on tape what happened bro i forgot i don't know if it was the the i don't think it was a pharmacy situation because i think you were alone but that's my whole point this motherfucker now that he's rich he's all like Oh, I don't need a phone. Of course you don't, because the 20 people around you have one. You know what I mean? I know, like, when the first debates came out, I think he was saying that, that they only talked about Black people for, what well, was like, 15 minutes. I know. Talk about anything, because motherfucker kept interrupting. Right. And, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I understand Biden. I mean... I don't know it, it's i think he's right in saying vote your interests you know i think he's right in telling people that but after this election what after this election vote your interests not right now yeah. bro not right now did you hear about the san francisco karen law no, san francisco just passed the law is the karen law and um, I have to look it up because I don't want to say the wrong information, but it's so funny because it's literally called the, the Karen Law. It is the... That's going to be in the dictionary now. The, well, yeah, but I thought it was with the K, but the San Francisco Karen Law is with the C. And it is the San Francisco Caution Against Racially and Explo... Explo... Oosh, that's going to be a hard one. Exploitative Non-Emergencies. The Karen Law. <laughs> oh my god it's the karen law the karen act or something they just passed it so people can't just call That's like funny. the bird watcher like there's a black man so you know what that means he might or might not attack me you know what i mean so that's the karen law Do, you know when that happened i don't know if you remember when i first saw because i i only heard about it and re and, and like heard like radios podcasts stuff like that but i never actually saw things when i saw it and i saw the man he was wearing a shirt with a rainbow i don't know if you noticed that so i remember telling uh someone back then like did you see his shirt and they're like yeah so everybody supports us i'm like okay 
Uh, all right. He is a gay black dude, bro. It was like, this bitch is like, oh, oh my gosh, a, a black man that might be gay. That's all you need, right? So the Karen law, bro, now they can't do that shit. That's fucking cool, no? <laughs> hey. well, like on TikTok, there are so many Karen TikToks all over <clears throat> Florida, Arizona, California. Not too many in Wyoming because there's not a lot of minorities there, but but everywhere, like the big, you know, the southern states, California, um, just where there's, you know, diversity. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro. That shit is crazy, but, um, you know, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if you have anything else to say about this. I No. I'm good. Oh, you I better not it. like that. What? It's not. You better not. <laughs> you look like a marble woman. Actually, it's a uh, American spirit. Oh, oh. I just I used want to, to feel like I used to date a woman that smoked those. I thought it was disgusting when I kissed her. <laughs> well, I'm not kissing anybody. Oh, but you might. And you don't want your teeth to be all yellow and shit. What? I don't inhale. <laughs> but it still goes on your teeth? I brush my teeth. Mm, it's not enough when you have that, you see. I can, um, <laughs> I have a whitener. You asked me earlier, I have a whitener. I told you about this whitener. It's just a little glass. That's it. I saw it full more than what the bartender will give you, but it's okay, my friend. Let me no. say it real quick. Uh, this is what I was talking about. There's the toothpaste. I don't want to get sued or anything, but uh, okay. it's AP24 whitening fluoride toothpaste. You let me know if you need it. And uh, you asked me why my teeth were so white. They're pearly. But no, um, I'll tell you how it works later. But okay. uh, anyway, <laughs> I saw your martini that was like not half empty, half full. <laughs> it's little. It's, it's really little. The, the camera shows it as bigger. You have enough olives. <laughs> They're little. I know, I'm just giving you shit because you gave me shit last time. <laughs> you with your cigarette. <laughs> nah, that's cool, bro. I want to be a smoker, but not really. Me too, bro. Why does Leonardo DiCaprio get to be so fucking cute, talented, rich, and he smokes? And his teeth are, are fine. Like, I don't get it. Every time I see uh -huh. a picture of him with, like, this really nice outfit that I'm just like, ah. Oh, I really like what he's wearing. He's all, I'm like, bitch. I wonder if he just does that for show. Nah, yeah. he's he's like a, a chain smoker. Huh. Maybe well, they have better situations for their teeth than we do. <laughs> maybe they have like a cleaning like once a month or something. Yeah, cleaning once a month, bro. Uh, <laughs> nah, don't smoke, Larissi. Once in a while it's cool, but... Trust me, because they're going to be like I'm 70 allergic, years, bro. you're going to be 70 yeah. years old and your teeth are going to look like you ate butter shit and rocks. No, bro. No, my, my whole family smoked. My, one of my family ha member has COP and she still smoked. So I'm not going to. I know. Don't do that. I, and I if, just puff. I just puff. Yeah. Oh, I see a little kitten. He's so needy. Oh, he's lovely. He has a little lovely alien kitten face. I miss that little kitten. Remember, he used to love me. Remember? Kitten. Kitty. Oh. Um, my husband, he used to dip. Use the... Ew. The... What do you call it? Chew? 
Mm -hmm. Do you know now they have this like white one? Hmm. That my neighbor does it and he said like it doesn't get your teeth are fucked up, but it's still nicotine. But yeah, he used to do that and actually he would if he would have a chew or whatever, because he would do it when he was traveling, like across the state. He would always like swish his mouth. He thought if he swished his mouth with water every time he like took his chew out, like but he had friends that like their teeth always had like stains and stuff and i was like if you're gonna do that you can't like kiss me or anything you need to brush your teeth and so he did he did brush it because i'm like i'm not gonna kiss you if you're gonna do that shit that shit's gross that's like cool for you to kiss him but like actually what he's doing is literally like if we are and i know uh, you know we're ratchet or i am but it's literally if I told you, oh, don't worry, I, I'm drinking this, but like after after every drink I have, uh, like after every drink I have water. That's, my liver doesn't care, care about that. <laughs> after yeah. every drink I have water, bro, so it's going to be okay. That's the same with your teeth when you smoke and, and your lungs and everything that fucking nicotine does to you. It's like, you, that's you cheating, your, like trying to play yourself. You know what I mean? Wow. I have a I have a glass of water every time I have a drink. Okay, well, that might not get you drunk, but your liver is still fucking suffering, bro. God rest his soul. Cause he, I know I, I I didn't mean it like that. I was just like oh, no. you know. I I think about just myself because I do drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, but so. but you don't add smoke. Right. Right. Yeah. Like anyway, that you're like only oh, drink on weekends or whatever. Uh, that's what I used to say. Yeah. But um, so, you know, yeah, let's do, um, your, your vices. <laughs> Sorry, what? What'd you say? Beware of your vices. Hey. And oh shit. Listen to your friends. Like, dude, <laughs> well, where <that> are you? <laughs> That's right, do. Beware of your vice. <laughs> and you said, and what was the other thing you said? Oh my God, beware. Listen to your friends, she said. Sorry, I had to like, but listen to your friends. Listen to your friends, beware of your vices. Don't smoke, kids. Drink less, because we can't tell you not to, because we do it. But also, if you have a rat's tail, cut it off. <laughs> Cut it off for me. <laughs> I cut it off for you. I thought that might be cool. <laughs> Maybe I don't know why you thought it would be cool. Shut up. <laughs> that it might be cool for... Maybe okay. if you were Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> that, like, that you're pushing it because then you're on a cool meter like up here. We're here, bro. Yeah, I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want, I'm a fine line between Maybe white like dogs. Odell Beckham Jr., Lady Gaga, and we're here. Don't have, like, I don't even think it would work on Lady Gaga, to be honest with you. I don't know. That shit would look trash. Nah. I'd be like, she's. The rat tail, I think people would be like, oh, Lady Gaga. Whoever brings it back, ha like, I don't think she can. First of all, I think that she lost weight and her ass is not looking the same. So first of all, she needs to get that ass back and maybe I'll look into the rat's tail, but not right now. I'm like, you skinny bitch, you're not going to wear a rat's tail and tell me what to do. <laughs> and it's all because of alcohol. I'm just going to blame it on alcohol. <laughs> That's right. That is our bigger, biggest problem, friend. We love it, you yeah. see. We love it. We it love I told you, either you change or you adapt. And we have adapted to something that's not our fault. You see, I blame it actually. I blame it on those COVID idiots out there. You motherfuckers out there, like just like having fun and whatever. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you fucking assholes. Like, oh. fuck you, dudes. Oh, yeah, I gotta tell you. Me. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I was watching this show. It's 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 just before it went. It, I think they made it um, 
Well, it's like a teen movie, but it's social justice. And it's about, it's called uh, Grand Army. And it's about a school in New York. And they talk a lot about bodegas. And that's, yeah. So they're in a lot of bodegas um, and they talk about it. And just New York and just talks about these group of teenage kids. And um, it's really cool because it, they talk about social justice and this school, I guess they um, give, you know, black people a, a chance at a better education because oh. it's, it's like an Ivy League school that they, they give scholarships and stuff. Like so, a high school? Yeah, it's a high school. But it's like a high school prep for, you know, regular schmegler. And they just talk about privilege and, um, but I just thought of, they were talking about bodegas and, you know, even uh, on Saturday Night Live, did we already talk about the bodega? Bathroom? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I want to say that for later because okay. I feel like that's part of um, me if I tell my story. And and I'll tell you later outside of the okay. podcast you right. know where things came from but yeah so no but i get exactly what you're saying and that is you were like exactly in there like that's exactly where i don't know it doesn't make sense right now for the i kittens and cats but oh it makes sense for us yeah, right now <laughs> i had to tell you something real funny although i was um i was working i was on a zoom call or something and one of my friends texts me is that you hold on i gotta see the text because it was just really like is this for me it is she like texting the wrong person like what the fuck she said to me um what the fuck are you on the west side like now if not are you serious and then i was like i didn't know what to say she's okay. like if not you have serious a, a doping how do you pronounce that doping ganger doping hanger doping ganger. ganger yeah there you go like and, your and, huh yeah like your and, yeah i just don't know how to pronounce it and she's like i'm trying to get a pick and then i was like okay so when i saw that i'm like working and then i'm like what the fuck because i haven't talked to her in a bit so i was like oh i know exactly what you're talking about it's been for years that someone tells me that there's another peaches out there. Let me be clear. There's only one 54 peaches. But anyway, uh, <laughs> there is um, this person out there that multiple times, bro, I can't even tell you how many times hmm. I've been text like, hey, you didn't say hi to me or hey, I saw you or hey, this hmm. and it's not me. And even like one of my exes told me, I saw her, this girl, she looks just like you. And it, I was like, I don't need to be begging you anymore. And I was like, whoa, like that, that's when it made me to like, believe like she really, cause I have had a lot of people tell me that there is this person. And I thought, you know, I used to say like, I have a very random face. Like everybody can look like me. And people that love me are like, no, don't say that. You have a spell, blah, 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 whatever, you know? It's just like you with your hair. I'm just like, N I don't hear you. I still think it's just very like average or whatever, right? But anyway, um, so when it, things start getting more like, okay, okay, my, my, fuck, my dad, bro, fucking text me. So, okay, so I was working at this uh, insurance place. And this was, this was years ago when the immigrant immigration and immigrant march started and like immigrant rights and shit. I was in my mid twenties and, uh, I was working at this insurance place and there was, most of us were Mexican. And when the insurance, the first March was like, we're going to wear all white and we're going to walk out of our jobs and just March. And I told him, we have to do this. And I was really young, you know, I was in my early 20s. And they're like, we can't afford it, girl. Like, we have families, like, we can't afford it. So do it if you want to, but 
we guarantee you're going to get fired because we're not going to do it. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, and it was right before Christmas. So I was like, I need money, <laughs> you know? So I was like, shit. So I saw the march happening and I'm like, hmm. but I didn't go out. I was just like, I need my job. And these bitches are not going to go out. So if it's not all of us, it's hard to be the one, right? And I regret it because back then I could have afforded to just go back to live to my, at my mom's or whatever. Anyway, regardless. So I didn't go out. That was that. Then my dad tells me, I saw you at the march on the news. I'm so proud of you. I'm like, what? He's oh, like, no. I saw you. I saw you. I was like, I was not out. Like, was it me? He's like, oh, okay. My freaking boss was like, I saw you that you were out there. Oh. And, that, and I told you, and I was like, you can ask the girls. Like, I had transactions that happened in the time, so I was able to defend myself. But that's when I really started taking this seriously. Like, there's literally someone out there that looks exactly like me, apparently. Oh. Okay, well, that was a long time ago. But when I told the girl, that was when I was, like, more, like, in my early, later 20s. And she told me, I saw her. She's younger than you. So if anything doesn't work out, I can go for the young. And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, but that's how I knew she was younger. Anyway, things like this have been happening to me all, like throughout the years. So re it just happened like two days ago. I get a text from homegirl being all like, are you out here at the PetSmart? And I was like, bro, no. She's like, you're lying to me. You just not want to like, you're lying to me. And I'm like, no. And I literally took a picture and I was like, this is me right now. I'm on a Zoom call. Like, no, I'm working. She's like, bro, she's seriously your twin. And I told her, I know, I know. People have told me she's out there. And I said, she's younger than me, right? And she didn't answer, but I was just like, I know she's out there. I don't know who the fuck it is, but apparently I have this, uh, what do you say? Dope, dope. Double ganger. Double ganger? Uh-huh. I have this double ganger out there and I don't like to tell the ladies that I date because she might be like, okay, upstairs and I'm not, <laughs> but I'm going to be a lot more fun. I can guarantee you that maybe one day you'll see her. I don't think you will. I think you know me so well that you can never. No. Well, you know what? I get that a lot. Like people are like, where do I know you from? Like, they're like, have I met you before? I'm like, well, maybe, but I don't remember you, but I don't say that, but um, they're like, yeah, you, I know you. I don't know where you, but yeah. Where you, but where I think it's, I think it's your soul. Yeah. And your I, aura. Ooh, it's, it's because we're empaths. Yes. Sure. And you have this aura that I swear to God, I used to see your color, but it changed. The more that I know you, your aura now, I can't tell. For the good or bad? Well, I don't know what colors mean. I know my aura is orange. I just saw something move. Uh oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's in your mind. It's in your head, bro. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, I, I think about, like... Like when I say, like what your, remember when I said your mom's name and you thought it was something else? <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> well, I just think about the, those times. Well, I mean, we were friends, but we weren't as close back then. Well, not as, as close as we are now, but we were yeah. definitely close. Yeah. Like but, I, I'm the type of empath that I'm not going to let you in unless I trust you somehow i think um yeah i think it took you a while to trust me just because you know i'm a caucasian and you have to be wary <laughs> but you knew but i do that with everybody but um yeah no you know speaking of my mom i have to say this real quick she texts me or texts we have a group chat between my brother, her, and I. And she texts, if any one of you has ever an empty bottle between now and here, 
of wine, an empty wine bottle. Will you bring him to me? I, I want it to be dark, if it's possible. <laughs> I have half a bottle of wine right now that I'm just dying to shug. <laughs> so I was what? like, I got one. <laughs> See, the bottle has to be dark or the... The bottle. The... What is she going to do with it? No idea, but did I show you what she just gave me? No. Well, I gotta explain it. Just kidding. So she first gave me this um, for uh, Dia de los Muertos. Oh, nice. And yeah, I have another one, that, a different thing that I fucked up already. Uh, but so when I went, when we went to the camping trip um, or cabin or whatever, this is the only thing that Nosh broke. So I had to put tape on it. So I told her I put tape on it and you can't even tell. You couldn't even tell, huh? No. It has tape all over, like, mustachio tape. <laughs> so she's like, today, she was like, I got you a new one. So the only thing you got to do is take the flowers, stick them in here, replace it, and then give the other one away. And I was like, no, I won't give it away. You know, but... That's how sweet she is. So she like made me the, like these things. And the other thing she had, I, I'll show part of it because I'm ratchet and drunk. But uh, she made me this, uh, what do you call those wreaths that you put on the door? Or what do you call them? Wreaths? Like wreath or something? Wreath. Corona. We call them Corona. And like you put them on, ugh. see? Like you know how... Uh, uh, Latinos, we have the same word for a lot of things. Like, you know, my government name means so many fucking yeah. things. So, <laughs> Corona is something that we call this fucking thing, and I just thought of it. Well, but it's, it's that like, round thing that you hang on the door. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let me show it to you. I have one of those that my sister made for me, and it has a skeleton in it. When you push the button, it goes, ha, 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 and it has little skeletons and spiders, and it's orange and black with uh, taffeta, orange and black, like, mesh. It's really cool. I should show it to you. It's in my front, it's on my front porch. That's so fucking cute. I hurt you, and look, this is the one my mom made me. Aw, M&M's. Oh, I wanted to steal a Kit Kat candy bar well i gotta be honest with you i ate all of them <laughs> oh okay <laughs> i just put the wrappers back on them <laughs> Look. there you go yeah my wreath is bigger it's <laughs> like a christmas one but it has skeletons and um little spite like the black tarantula spiders and it has a one it lights up and it also has a sound where the skeleton is Making a like, you know, ha 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 ha. Aww. My sister made it for me. She does like the sports ones, like for teams and stuff. I don't know what she's gonna do for the Braves. No, not the Braves. What's your team? The Washingtons? <laughs> the team with no name. How's she gonna do the Washington? <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you that, uh, you know, what you gave me, the little bracelet? Oh, yeah? It broke. So I was going to fix it, but I never did. Every time I look at the stuff, because, you know, I like to wear a lot of accessories. I'm going to uh, I can ask her for another one. Oh, I don't want you to. I The I little, know. one of the little clippies came out of the leather. Look at <laughs> and uh i thought maybe if i glued around it then it would give it more like you know that it wouldn't like go through because you know i love it and i don't care if it has the logo that we're not supposed to wear anymore like you know i mean until they actually give us a real name what the fuck are we supposed to do you know what i mean uh, yeah what do they do on like when they're playing 
for like the playoffs and stuff. What is their logo? The playoffs. <laughs> what do you mean? We what? haven't been there since like the eighties, bro. <laughs> Not the playoffs, but you know. I know what you mean, like the finals or whatever. We haven't been there. I know it's not the NBA, but I don't know that much about football. Well, ne- we haven't been there since the 80s, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we they haven't. Have not my team. I know. Oh, I at the. Okay. You're talking about your dolls. <laughs> my team, there. the team without no name, we haven't been there since the 80s, bro. Okay. Well, so, maybe today, you know, doing good this year. Or what? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, the you're whole, not here. The whole NF. What is it? The NFC or the NFA? It's the NFC, I believe. You know, there's the different regions. The, all of them are doing so horrible that the the one like the Cowboys are doing horrible. The Eagles are doing horrible. The cat the team without no name is doing horrible like they're all well, doing so fucking bad the giants, literally, literally the giants are doing but bro the giants have become us too so literally the team that does the least fucking bad is the team that's gonna get there which is so pathetic it is so pathetic that's why I like how the in it like the nba did the whole bubble thing I think that was brilliant about because, you know, they were safe and there's so many teams now that are, they're, you know, getting sick. So, well, you know, you know the NFL doesn't care about the players the way that the yeah. NBA cares about the players. And so they don't give a fuck. You're still going to come and play and you're going to work for me and you're going to do what I say, whether there's Corona or not. Like how many cases have they been on the Titans on the yeah um they don't care Patriots on like you know it's all about money of course the NFL makes so much money there's like and they're losing money now so they yeah who's sad oh, I gotta go to yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I want? Uh, a patty melt. Mm. <laughs> a patty melt. But I'm hungry now. Those oh. hamsters that we ate earlier, they ran out. What time did we eat? Like a four? Like, <laughs> I'm hungry now. <laughs> I'm hungry too. No, you gonna get McDonald's? No, I'm gonna make it. Oh, I got some hamburger meat out earlier. Make a. That ain't got no meat out. <laughs> oh, not... I'll beat meat. Uh, I'm not Rudolph Giuliani. I don't got no meat out for for show for cameras. Oh no! I'm uh, sorry. You gotta watch that Bora. But um, I'm gonna watch it. I don't have, I, I guess I can make some sort of pasta. There you go, make your pad thai. Or pasta pomodoro. Ooh, send me a picture. Or maybe I can order some McDonald's. <laughs> hey. Fuck, dude. Nah, 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 nah. I'll be good. I'll Did be your good. mom send you home with food? She sent me with a couple things, yeah. Have that. I don't want to. It's <laughs> like I want a snack, not a like you know. What I mean? <laughs> Just want a little snack. I don't want to. Oh, the other day I got some bean dip. See what I mean? It's get... different to get beans. If you get beans, you need a tortilla to make a burrito. If you get bean dip, you can. Dip any ratchet ass chip in that bitch. Bean dip is like a hoe. Bean dip will take any chip. Oh, bean, oh my mom that? beans. My mom beans is like my pussy. No, your fucking tortilla better be fucking worth it, bro. Whoa. <laughs> Dang. But no, I um. 
What was I going to say? Oh, I should have brought the jalapeno home that I didn't finish. I have it. Do you want it? Yeah. I brought both of, bro, both of the ones that were left. I brought them home. I'll save oh, it for no. you. I'm going to go over uh, uh, like in a couple of days, so I'll take it to you. I should have brought, I should have asked your mom if I could have brought a couple so I could put in the bean dip. because There was, was only two left. Oh. Okay. Nobody wanted to take them, so I took them. Oh, okay. See, I shouldn't have thrown it away, but you guys would have teased me. <laughs> My little foil. Saved it for... I would have saved that. I would have saved it. See, that's the thing that you just need to say. Like, fuck you guys. Give me... Can I have a fucking foil so I'll I can take my I'll jalapeno? My little fanny exactly. Pack. Exactly. So that's what... You just got to own things. This is you. This is your problem. You get, like, a couple words oh. get said to you and you get all, like, oh, my gosh. Insensitive. I'm all insensitive. Nobody... You can't be that sensitive. Nobody can get to you like this, bro. Nobody should yeah. get to you like this. Only like, obviously, it's going to happen once in a while. It only happens to me when people that I care about. The people I don't care about, I just want to kill them, but that's okay. I won't because I, I don't own a gun. I just want to kill them. <laughs> that's okay. I probably no, won't. I, I don't really get hurt. I, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. That's like for funny. It's entertainment, I, I you guys. It's entertainment. I, I do tease you, and sometimes I don't even realize it. But. You tease me all the time. I know. But that's how I grew up. and so. Me too. I really I me too. It. But you can't handle it. <laughs> I know. I, I'm like, eh. <laughs> But. I am also the youngest one of the family. I am the youngest of my family. I am the second youngest of my whole family, which involves all my mom's brothers and sisters and their kids. So I know what it is. I know you're the youngest, but you don't know how to take it, bro. Like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk shit. Yes. I'm going to learn today. Yeah. I'm we're at like uh, almost two hours Saturday Night Live started. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's let's go. Party started. Next week, we're going to have our Halloween special. So Ooh. I know Halloween's going to pass already, bitch. Don't worry about it. And if you don't want to listen, then don't fucking listen. Nobody's asking you. I'm no, we are asking you. Please, please follow us. Nah, I don't know like if I want to beg. And subscribe. There you go. And subscribe. And even comment. If we suck, just tell us we suck. Maybe we can improve if you say, well, I don't like it when you do this. And maybe we could change it. But we can't tell if you like us unless you give us feedback. So I'm starting, we... I'm starting to like all those computer comments. <laughs> They're like becoming more I ratchet. Uh, uh, cowboy writer 57. <laughs> Uh, cat, cat. Spiritual cat. flyer twenty two nine me <laughs> ride me or titanium yeah. titanium empath twenty seven. <laughs> there you go. Come on, Get out of here, you guys. Give us a vote. Anyway. Vote, fucking vote, fucking vote, 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 vote. Vote your fucking shit. Vote. Vote. <laughs> Vote. Vote. Not fucking around, just vote. Vote. Fluff the flies. Fucking vote. And let's Answer, just see what the do fuck. You, do you vote for Trump? I think he might be a racist, but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, they are. It automatically becomes you that. I'm the least racist person I know. You have to fucking say that. That okay. means that you are literally just trying to find a cop out. <laughs> like, it doesn't mean anything. But anyway, we are the Bodega Cats. I am 50 for peaches. I'm Larizzi. Hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs> my
Go ahead. <laughs> what we said, we did what we did. And um, if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thank you for the swiffer, homie. And I love you. And um, let's talk about Saturday Night Live tonight. Text me. I will. <laughs> 